Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make clickable table of contents on Canva. For example, let's say you're creating an ebook or you're creating a docs on Canva and you would like to add a clickable table of content. I'll be showing you step by step how to do that. As you can see right here, I've created a page by the name of contents and you can see that I've added the different text. So to add text, you would go over to the left hand menu option and select text. And from there, you could add the text box and then you could label it just like what I have done right here. Now to make it clickable, you will need to number or name the pages. So for example, right where you see page three, you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap right there. And we're going to be calling this our intro page. So you will type in intro right there. Then you will scroll down and you will select page four and page four is going to be called chapter one. So we'll type in chapter one right here. So let me do that. So I'll type in chapter one right here real quick. After you have done that, you will scroll down and this will be chapter one also. And then you can see chapter two right here. You can label it chapter two. So let's do that. And that's how you'll do it. So after labeling each page, you will simply select the text right here. So remember that we had labeled that page introduction. So we are going to select introduction, then tap on the link icon. Then by scrolling down, you will see all of the pages that you have labeled. And we could select intro, then tap on done. If you would like to also make the number clickable, you could select the number right here. And then you could tap on the three dots. And again, you could select link, scroll down, and then we could tap on intro once more, then tap on done. Now we're going to tap on chapter one, and we're going to select the three dots, then tap on link, then scroll down. And from there, you can see chapter one, we can add it, tap on done. Once you're finished, you'll go over to the top right hand corner, and you're going to tap on share. Then you're going to tap on download, after selecting download, you want to ensure that the file type is PDF. So you are either going to select PDF standard or PDF print. Either one of these two. That is very important. You want to ensure that you have selected PDF. Then you are going to tap on download. Once it has been downloaded, you are going to tap in the top right here. And let's open our PDF so you can see how it looks right there. And if I were to select intro, for example, you can see it carries me to the introduction page. And if I were to select chapter one, you can see it carries me to chapter one. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.